the world with data loaders. Right, so let me a subheader. Now, now let me show you how you can define a data loader. So let me define a variable called data loader. Now this is just a variable, right? I'm gonna create an object, a data loader object. So data loader, remember this a data loader is the thing that we have imported right here, right? So this is, this is the class. Now we're gonna create an object of this class beautifully, right? So that is our data loader. What is it waiting for? So you can pass, you know, you, you, can, you, you can literally pass any iterable, uh, as far as I know, any iterable uh, object of, um, in, in Python. But in this case, our, our iterable object is our data set, right? And that's it. So this is the most basic way of using this, right? And I'm just gonna run this. Oh, it's not defined. I think I haven't run this maybe. Oh, sorry, it's capital L. Um, I think I have, yes. These errors are good. It, it's, it's nice to see these errors. They're, they're good reminders. Now, let me show you how you can iterate through this, right? So for, um, I don't know, sample in data loader. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna grab the image, right? So the image is gonna be, um, so let me call it image. It's gonna be sample again remember this is again the same dictionary right this time we're we're accessing it through our data loader that's all that it is so i'm gonna grab the image now one teeny tiny bit that you need to notice here is that when you use a data loader there is the way it retrieves your image for you or whatever item it is that it, that you wanted to grab from your iterable object that item is gonna be is gonna have one extra dimension to it and I'm going to show you there's a very good reason why we have that. But before I continue, I just want to show you, show you the shape of this image. So when we use a data loader, this happens, right? So sys.exit. What am I doing here? Sorry, image.shape. Yeah. Uh, what's the problem? Yeah, because... <laughs> Jesus, what's wrong with me? Um, image, right. <clears throat> right, great. So this is a dimensionality. So why? what is this one over here? Why do we have an extra dimension? So I already know that I have one image of, of these dimensions. So why does PyTorch feel the necessity to tell me? There's a very good reason for that. I'll tell you in a second, okay? So let's just say we have it for now, right? So because I'm gonna plot this image uh, like exactly like the way that I did before, uh, so we never had this problem of having that extra dimension. So I'm just gonna get rid of that extra dimension, right? The way to do it is through this command squeeze. Again, it's a command that you can run, uh, you know, on either you can you can run it on tensor tensors. Also, you can run it on NumPy arrays, right? So if I do that, and then print out the shape. You notice that that extra dimension has disappeared, right? The rest is exactly like with what we've been doing. Again, the rest is exactly the same. So I'm not going to put a, any title because I mean that that's beside the point. I don't need to waste time on this for now, right? So if I do this, hopefully it will work. Yes, good, 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 good. So let me stop it, right? So these are again. So you've got all of the tumors right in the beginning and then you, you'll have all of the healthy images later on right now why should we care about data loaders right we've already been able to do this uh, do do the situation before without any of this hassle so why do we even need to bother first things first what if i want to shuffle this do i need to again generate some random indices and then iterate through those random random indices no in the signature of this dataset class, you can just say shuffle equals true. Now, shuffle is by default false, right? So if I did that and I and I plotted this, you notice that you've got tumor, healthy, healthy, 
tumor, 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 healthy, tumor, tumor, healthy, right? So it, it shuffles the data for you just like that with one flag, right? The second thing that is very important, and it's going to tie back to what I just told you about, about that bloody extra dimension that was really annoying, right? We have this thing called batch size, right? That comes really handy when you when you want to you know divide your data into mini batches so that you could feed in your 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 training data into your uh, machine learning model in batches, or let's be more precise in mini batches. If you didn't have your data loader, you'd have to go through a lot of coding to make sure that you'll have the, those mini batches properly, you know, written without any, you know, index conflict or whatever, right? So we have this thing called batch size. Let's call it 10, right? What this means is every time you want to grab something from that MRI uh, data set object, it will not take only one of those, one of that thing. It takes 10 of that thing, right? So instead of having one image at every iteration, it will grab 10 images at every iteration. And I'm gonna show, show this to you. Now I'm gonna get rid of the squeeze. Now this, we won't be able to pl uh, you know, plot it like, like the way we have plot, uh, plotted it right now, because at every iteration we're, we're gonna have more than one images, right? So I'm gonna show you the shape um PO maybe print image dot shape. Yes. Now <clears throat> what do you think the shape of this image will be? Right? What do you think is it? It, it is. Is it gonna be one by three by twenty one hundred and twenty eight by one hundred and twenty eight? Or something else? Sorry, did I run it? I think I didn't run it. And, um, and uh, let me also do sys.exit. Um, let me run this. Now, see what, what happened. <clears throat> so, I'm, so I stopped the, the iteration, right? Now the shape is 10 by 3 by 120 by 120. So it means that every iteration I'm getting 10 images right this is fantastic with only setting the uh, the the number of bat you, you, i mean the size of your mini batch here as just one parameter there you have it right with only setting shuffle to true all of a sudden you have everything shuffled up right so this is beautiful which only one line right and you notice that we pass our data set object to your data loader and you notice that the only reason why data loader can actually iterate and well not iterate but can actually access different indices in your MRI data set object all of that is because of this bloody get get item uh, dunder function that you have overridden in your data set class right so you, you remember you inherited from the data set class that didn't have any get item then you override road overrode it if that's right english right so there you have it this is why you need data loaders and uh, from now on we're going to use data loaders and you'll see how you can use this data loader paired up with your data set object then how you can use your data loader to feed in mini batches of data shuffled up uh, to your i mean through your machine learning model and just train it easy peasy no problem at all right Perfect. So I hope that this has been informative for you. If you have any questions, just feel free to post them in the comment section down below. I'll be always delighted to have nice discussions. And uh, make sure to like and subscribe the video if you enjoyed it. And also, you can follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. And also, don't forget mldon.com, where we have beautiful posts, uh, you know, posted regularly. So I hope that this has been informative for you. Take care of yourself. Bye.